Stay tuned, I talk lots about photo booths in this video. Resume. Early mornings. Just do it. Take a bite out of your day. Make sure and be prepped. So if you don't finish the tasks that you have from the day before, well, carry them on to the next day and prep your stuff early so that you don't look unprepared when someone's coming to pick up from you. Make sure everything's packaged really nice. There's nothing worse than having to, you know, wrap ratchets or package something right in front of a customer. Don't look unprepared. So today I had uh, two photo booths and a tent that I had to repair uh, going out first thing in the morning that I didn't have time to do last night. So uh, this is me getting it ready. Get it ready. Let's get into it. Get ready. Let's go. For those of you who don't know, I'm Lee. I'm the bartending photo boothing rental guy and I have a party rental business that I started from the garage of my house. I worked my way up to a warehouse and these are my vlogs, this is my information, this is my channel. If you like the content, uh, press the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, be part of the team. Uh, let's do this journey together. When I get to the warehouse, I wanna get in there and double check all the orders that I have coming in first thing. So I don't wanna miss anything. So I see that I have uh, two photo booths that need to be prepped and uh, some tents that need to go out. And all of this is happening within the first half an hour of the day. All right, so I'm just prepping uh, a photo booth to go out. So this one went out last weekend. So uh, we're just grabbing the photos from the previous client. Uh, the name was Parker. We're just going to uh, basically set up the photo booth for the new customer. So we've got two minutes left of Parker's photos to upload. Then we'll send them to Parker and we'll package this booth up and get it ready to go out to Kennedy. And then packed with the booth, I just have a, a little bin with the lights and the umbrella and then a setup guide. I've also got an online version of this. Uh, if you're looking for what's all written on this sheet, then uh, check out this video make sure that it has a working monolight strobe. Uh, so I use the newer S400. It's a, it's, a budget, it's a budget strobe. Works fantastic. Got them today. So this is the white booth here. Uh, I've got photo booth build instructions online. If you'd like to go check those out, I'll put the link in the description. Um, yeah, these photo booths are great. They go out to clients every weekend. Uh, budget photo booths. So there's a uh, computer and a camera and a touch screen. Very simple with uh, photo booth software. Put all of this stuff together, programmed right, can make you a lot of money. The beauty of my photo booths is that uh, they can go out as rentals. So you can cut a lot of the costs associated with normal photo booths. You can cut out printing, you can cut out extra staffing and just focus on the main thing, which is the profit. So that's the beauty of mine. So if you wanna build one of these photo booths, uh, click on the link here and uh, it'll give you measurements and uh, blueprints and all of the needed data that you need to build one of these. And then you can also uh, watch my series of photo booth videos where I show you how to um, basically run this business as photo booth rentals. What's up everyone? It's Lee here and I am the bartending photo boothing rental guy. And today I have a very special series for you. You're gonna wanna check this out. So. I'm gonna be sharing with you my module for rental photo booths. You want my secrets? Here they are. Actual rentals that people come and pick up and then they return to you. It works wonderfully. But best of all, I'm gonna show you how to make money and get bookings doing this. Not to mention slice through your competition. I grew from two photo booths to seven photo booths in one year doing this. So I've got a few of the booths right here that you can see. I've got that one, that one got two twins down there. I've got a barnwood one right there. I've got a little one in this suitcase here. So let me show you one of these so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so right here, this is the espresso booth. It's got the cover that I made over it, so let's take that off. So the customer comes and they pick this up from me. They put it in their car. They take it to their event. They set it up. When they're done with it, they return it. It automatically sends 
the pictures to the guests' phones and emails at the event. Let's fire it up quick so you know what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna plug it in. Once I plug it in, all that I have to do is just turn on the computer in the back and put on the light and it's ready to go. Another thing that's great about these booths is you can use them for double uses. So uh, if you wanna have your regular photo booth business where you go out and have an attendant set everything up and do it that way, you can. Or if you'd like to have people just come in and pick them up, then you can do it that way. Same booths, different price points. So this is video one of so many. So I'm gonna be making videos three times a week so make sure and subscribe to the channel so that you can stay updated with these videos on how this whole process works. Thanks for watching. Okay, so now that I uploaded the photos and sent the old client their copy of the photos and programmed the booth for the new client, now I just shut it down and pack it up and it's ready for pickup. And there we have it, Kennedy's booth is ready for pickup. Okay, going down the list at 9.15, now we have 20 by 30 pop-up tent with some stakes and ratchets. So this 10 by 20 here has a bent rod. You can see it's bent right here where my hand is. Uh, so we don't want it to break on the client. So we're quickly just gonna replace a rod. So if you buy better quality pop-up tents, you can buy replacement rods. So I keep a whole bunch of rods up there. Just quickly put a new one so in. Looking at the tent here, we're gonna need an Allen key, a screwdriver, and that's it to replace this. So let's go grab our stuff. So in the tool kit, I've got some tent tools here. So screwdriver and Allen key. All right, the leg's off. So we'll take the hardware, the hardware is so good, and just put it in the new leg. So just grab the middle piece, put it through. Make sure you save the washer that goes in between because it helps the tent top not pinch. And put it in the corresponding holes. A lot of you may argue, well, why do you have to fix the tent so much? Um, you know, it's just annoying, don't rent out pop-up tents, but it's quite lucrative. I mean, if you have six of these going out every weekend at 200 bucks a pop, uh, plus taxes, plus uh, rental protection plan. So if one of them does come back broken, you got a $20 fix here, you're still making your money back and you don't have to go set them up. Uh, you don't have to get line locates. It's appealing to the customer for last minute bookings. So um, whereas the other 10 companies are going to deny people because they don't want to have to schedule the labor of last minute uh, staff having to go set up a tent. Plus, basically, it's just too late to get line locates. There's these pop up tents. Customers are going to grab them and you're going to make a lot of extra money off them. That's why I have so many of them, because it works. All right, she's as good as new, ready to go out with her brothers today. Bye shop, see you in one hour and 22 minutes. Let's go take the kids to school. Anyways, that was my morning between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. this morning. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, you stay classy. You stay classy.